Welcome to CG Dive. As you probably know, if you have a character and an armature, and you select the character, shift select the armature, and then press Ctrl and P, you'll get the parenting options, and if you choose with automatic weights, that will basically bind the character to the armature. And now if I select the armature and go to pose mode and move or rotate the bones, the character will be deformed by these bones. And if you didn't even know that, uh, then you can watch some of my previous videos. But somebody asked me, what is the difference between all of these parenting options that we have, like envelope weights, uh, empty groups, and even armature deform? And I thought that would be an interesting topic for a video, so let's take this apart and let's see what happens with each of these options. So I'm going to undo. So I'm basically starting from scratch. And let's first look at the automatic weights operation since it is the one that most people will be familiar with. And let's see exactly what happens when we parent with automatic weights. So first pay attention that our character and the rig are here in the outliner. My character doesn't have any modifiers and it doesn't have any vertex groups. Okay, now if I shift select the armature, control P, parent with automatic weights, you'll see that the character disappeared from the outliner. Uh, it didn't disappear, it is simply the child of the rig now. So you'll find it under rig. And then if I select the mesh, it, you'll see that it has vertex groups now. And also an armature modifier that is controlled by the rig. If I select the armature, then shift select the mesh. This order is important. Um, and then go to weight paint mode. I can then control click on any of the bones and it will show me the weights that were created by the automatic weights algorithm. And these weights basically connect the mesh or the vertices to the bones. So you see that with automatic weights is a complex operator that does a couple of things in one click. And that is to parent the character to the armature, to create vertex groups, and even to assign automatic weights based on the position of the bones compared to the geometry. And it also adds the armature modifier and even assigns the rig as the control object. Okay, let's undo. Again, I'll undo before the make parent operation. So what about the other options? Envelope weights will do exactly the same as automatic weights, except that the weighting algorithm that it uses is slightly different. And in almost all cases, automatic weights produces superior results and it is easier to use so I'm not going to go too deep into the envelope weights uh, operator. Let's just give it a try quickly. So you see that it is deforming the mesh, but it is really bad. Um, if you switch your armature display to envelope, you'll see what uh, your envelopes look like. If you press Ctrl, Shift and S, you can scale the envelope. And by tweaking the size of these envelopes, the envelope weights operator may start to work a little bit better, but as you can see, that would be time consuming. And I'm not convinced if it's going to give you better results than automatic weights. And that is why almost nobody uses envelope weights. So let's undo again. So let's take a look at the next option, which is with empty groups. But let's take a quick look at our scene again. Currently, my character is not parented to the rig. It has no armature modifier and no vertex groups. Now, if I parent with empty groups, again, my character became the child of the rig. It has vertex groups and an armature modifier. So it looks the same as automatic weights. But now if I go to pose mode, you'll see that the character is not deformed by this armature. And that is because as the name empty groups suggests, this operator creates the groups, but it doesn't create any weights. If I select the armature, shift select the character and go to weight paint. If I now control click any of these bones, you'll see that they're purely blue, which means no weights are assigned. Okay, so that was empty groups. If you don't want any weights to be automatically assigned to your character, then use this. And then you can start to manually weight paint your character. And I have additional videos on how to do that. Okay, so let's undo one more time. So again, I have the character unparented, no vertex groups, no armature modifier. 
Okay, now again, if I have the character selected, shift select the armature and press Ctrl P, we also have this armature deform option, which many people probably dismiss. Um, I did it myself, and I've also seen other experienced users who are amazed that that is actually an option that you can choose. Because it doesn't really look like an option, it looks more like the menu title for the operators below it. But it is an operator in its own right, so if I choose it, you'll see that again, my character was parented to the rig, an armature modifier was created, but there are no vertex groups. So that's what it does. It is similar to empty groups, except that it doesn't create any vertex groups at all, not even empty ones. And you may be asking, why is this even useful? To be honest, I haven't used this much myself, but here is what you could do. After parenting this way, if I select the armature and then shift select the body and go to weight paint mode, I can control click one of these bones and start painting. And then the vertex group associated with this bone will appear. There are two vertex groups now because I have the x-axis mirror enabled, so it automatically creates uh, vertex groups on the right side while I paint on the left side. But if you want to control precisely which vertex groups are created, then using this workflow may be what you need. Something else that you could do if you control click on one of the bones. My mesh turned uh, purple because this bone has currently no association with the uh, mesh. But if I go to weights and assign automatic from bones, then this will assign automatic weights only for the selected bone or bones. If you shift and click on another bone, you can select multiple bones. And now if I go to weights, assign automatic from bones, I'll assign weights for all of the selected bones. And you'll also notice that the area of the mesh that was affected is limited within the length of the bone. And Luciano has a nice and practical video about this. I'm going to link to it in the description. So that's it for the four operators that we have that allow us to link an armature and a mesh. And before I end the video, I want to answer a question that you may be having. I certainly had it. And that is, why are we parenting the mesh to the armature? Isn't it enough to connect it with weights? And it kind of is. Um, here I'm going to undo again. And let's parent with automatic weights. So now if I grab the armature and move it around in object mode, my character will be moving with it. And if I go to pose mode, I can deform the character. And that is probably the most logical behavior that you expect. If I go to object mode, select the mesh, go to object properties and look under relations, you'll see that the parent of the mesh is of course the rig. And if I remove this parenting, select the rig and go to pose mode, the character will still be deformed, okay? However, if I go to object mode and move the armature, it won't move the mesh around. And if I place the armature somewhere else, go to pose mode and then try to rotate some of the bones, you'll see that the result is very strange. And we don't know, want that, so I'm going to undo until I have the mesh parented to the rig again. So in most cases, you'll want the mesh to be parented to the armature. If you don't, for some reason, you can break this relation and the armature will keep deforming the mesh as long as you have an armature modifier and vertex groups. However, you may get unpredictable results when you move the armature because the mesh won't move with it. Big thanks to my supporters on Gumroad and Patreon. Join them to gain early access to unreleased CG Dive content. Please click like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.